Hi, this is Derek Murphy from creativity.com. I'm going to make a little video about how to disable page flip in Kindle Unlimited. This is an issue because at the, in the fall of 2016, a lot of authors reported a significant drop in page reads, um, and it was about the same time that Amazon unveiled its page flip program. So the hypothesis was that people were skipping over parts of the book in page flip, and it wasn't counting the page reads, so a lot of authors saw a big drop in their income. The solution, um, even though Amazon might have possibly fixed it on a case-by-case -case basis, a lot of, well, some authors I think are still reporting a drop in page reads, but basically we don't know what's happening with Amazon, so when this page flip is enabled, um, some authors think that might be dangerous and that it, it might earn more money if you're in Kindle Unlimited if you disable page flip. That's not a very easy thing to do. Um, I found a solution that I think works, so I'm going to test it out. It's a little technical. So if you're not having problems with page flip, you may not want to play around with it. On the other hand, I don't think it <clears throat> I don't think it hurts. I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. My page reads are actually pretty good. Um, so I don't know that I'll see a significant boost, but <clears throat> it's worth testing because if I do see, see a boost, that's extra income for me. So the basic thing that I've seen work, and I heard this from Juto, which is Juto is a book formatting blog, and then I heard it from another um, author friend of mine, <clears throat> and she made a little post, which I'll link to down below. So what I want to do is I'm going to open my EPUB file in Sigil. <clears throat> Sigil is a ebook formatting software, and you can get into the code view and edit the code, which makes it helpful. You don't really normally you don't have to play with the code. I have an online conversion tool at PublishExpress.com where you can upload your Word file and it will just work. But in this case, you need to add it. Uh, access the code because we're going to add a little bit of code. This is this um, mermaid picture. I'll show you. The idea was to take this JPEG and turn it into an SVG file, which is kind of like a code graphic. So I used an online converter tool, which is... So with this online convert tool, I just used it to upload that JPEG of a mermaid. It could be any JPEG. I actually found out that my mermaid picture doesn't really work because when you convert it, it looks pretty good here, but in my after the conversion, it looks like this. So you really need to pick a simple <clears throat> image, even a blank like white rectangle. rectangle. Maybe that's what I'll do actually. Um, but I converted it into an SVG file, which I'll show you down here. It downloaded as <clears throat> like an Internet Explorer file, which is code. So if I open that code up in the text editor, oops, that's what it looks like on the in the internet version. I could probably go to view page source, but basically it's a bunch of code. Um, I'm actually going to just open this up as a text file with Notepad, and it looks like this. So I'm going to copy all of that code into my ebook which I already did here. I just went to code view and I pasted it all in. So now when I save this file as an EPUB and I convert it to a Mobi file by dropping it into Kindle Previewer, I can upload that to Kindle and it should break page or the page flip so that on my Amazon page it doesn't show page flip enabled anymore. That's what I'm going to test. I don't know whether that will actually boost my page reads um, being in Kindle Unlimited, but if it doesn't, I can just set it back to the original file, and, and it doesn't really hurt anything. And I want to see if this method actually works to disable page flip, which I think a lot of authors are searching for. So I'll um, put some links and notes in a blog post and link before the video, because I know this is pretty um, high-tech stuff, or just a little bit more advanced book formatting stuff. But you could probably also just get a book formatter to do this for you if you have someone who does your ebooks. Thanks. Bye-bye.